In fact, our system of justice wouldn't work without the service and sacrifice of jurors, and it is a sacrifice, getting away from your jobs, your families. So the least we can do at this time is to provide jury, jury service and sh uh, jury shuttles for, to, just to ease the, the uh, inconvenience of jury service in any way that we can. And I want to thank Jim Robinson and uh, County Clerk Daniel for having, District Clerk Daniel, for having the inspiration to do this program. And with that, I will recognize a man I knew and admired in my past life as a trial lawyer, Harris County Clerk Chris Daniel. Well, good morning. Uh, as your District Clerk of Harris County, we service jurors for just about every judge in Harris County with the narrow exception of the municipal courts and the federal courts. Unfortunately, our beautiful jury assembly building took on over 11 feet of water because of Harvey. Let me repeat that, 11 feet of water because of Harvey. And despite the storm doors which held and kept the water from coming in through the tunnels, the water came in up through the top and flooded that building, something fierce. The engineers, the great engineers of Harris County, are still assessing whether to replace that building, to build elsewhere, to build on top, etc. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, we have to have juries for our justice system. For the over 90 plus judges appointed and elected here in Harris County that are downtown alone, never mind the justice of the peace, courts, and others. So, now that we're here at 1001 Preston, where we have the old cafeteria space in the basement, as well as the old early voting location here on the first floor where we're having this press conference today. Those rooms limitly hold little less than 400 jurors a panel. And so we're having three jury calls a day. And with these upsets in logistics, we have to have good partnerships. And thankfully, we have already had a well-established partnership with Metro through their earlier efforts to promote jury service in general, through the placards that they had in over 800 plus buses three years in a row, as well as uh, talking about jury fraud and other types of scams that have occurred in Harris County. These wonderful partnerships with the county and Metro have allowed us to have yet another endeavor that allows us to have these free Metro shuttles that are going to escort our juries from the traditional parking lots along the routes here to our new jury space, temporary jury space, as well as to the courthouses. And I, I just cannot thank Metro enough for allowing that to happen. To go into further details, I'm now going to pass it over to Jim Robinson. Well, thank you, uh, Chris. And uh, let me give a little background for the media on how we came to arrive at this partnership. In my uh, regular duties, I'm uh, Senior Director of Special Projects for Harris County, but also represent Commissioner's Court on the Metro Board of Directors. And uh, we began talking with Chris's staff after uh, it became obvious that uh, we needed to do something to move jurors efficiently from where they park uh, down here to this new uh, temporary jury assembly area. And so uh, in my role with Metro, we made a pitch to uh, uh, Tom Lambert, who was extremely responsive. In fact, I've, I was just so impressed all during Harvey at any challenge that uh, Metro uh, was given, be it from uh, the city of Houston to help in rescue and moving people. Metro was there and uh, uh, just performed a tremendous uh, uh, public service. But as, as Chris said, uh, the jury system is the cornerstone of both the criminal justice and the civil justice system in Texas. And uh, it's important that uh, jurors, uh, that their service be made as convenient as possible. And this service that Metro is providing will, will certainly contribute materially to that. Uh, and with those uh, introductions, let me call on Tom Lambert, our Metro CEO, to talk a little bit about uh, both what the actual operation will be of the shuttle and also to tell you of some of the other things, some of the other great things that Metro did during the hurricane. Tom? Thank you, Mr. Robinson, Mr. Daniel, Chair Patman. I'm always excited to really recognize the pride we have in all the Metro employees and how they serve this community. And during Hurricane Harvey, there was no exception. As the Chair mentioned, over 15,000 people were transported to shelters or out of harm's way, and we're very proud of what they've done to this community. 
Uh, we also work with the Red Cross to make sure that their trucks got delivered where they could distribute essential supplies for this community and we're creative with our Metro Police escorting those trucks to get them where they needed to go. And we've continued to provide shuttles for uh, nutrition services recently with the, uh, the DSNAP program to make sure folks could get assistance they needed. And then we also, under the board's uh, direction, have provided free rides to students and parents accompanying students to school both at kindergarten all the way through college uh, during September and October to make sure we help this community get back to normal as soon as we can. This shuttle is just another example of how Metro is committed as part of this community to step up to help this community. As you'll see on the posters, and we've got maps showing where the parking locations are and where our pickup points will be, the free shuttles will operate Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. until 7 p.m., the buses will travel every 15 minutes with shuttle pickup at the locations on Congress Avenue and Caroline Street, as well as on Fannin and Preston Streets. I'd also remind everybody that jurors can ride all Metro services coming to jury uh, uh, assembly for free. All they have to do is show the operator that jury summons, and that's all of our services. And that's something we've done in partnership with the county for many years, and we look forward to continuing that. I would encourage anyone to go to ridemetro.org, and it will give you all the details about how jurors can ride our services, whether it's park and ride or local service to come to jury services, as well as our website, which will also be communicating this new service. It's now my uh, pleasure to turn it back over to Chair Patman. Chair Patman. Thanks so much for coming out and helping us spread the word. And at this point, we'll take questions if you have any. <coughs> any questions? So, what would a, a, so a juror comes downtown and parks. Do, uh, do they look for number 418 and that will take them here? Is that right? Yes, sir. And also, we have, we have staff members out this morning to assist people. We actually have our street teams, their ambassadors for Metro that are out these locations to assist people to where they need to board. There's also signage at the stops that will show it for jury uh, services as well. So, and we'll continue to reinforce that until people get comfortable with the service. Anything else? So what was the problem? Why, why is this needed? Why is this needed, Tom? Well, as a, I'm gonna let the district clerk respond because I think he can put it more succinctly. Very simply. When somebody shows up for jury service, we do not want them to have to walk enormous distances in order to show up to the new jury space, especially when parking is available only in limited spaces downtown. If they have any physical disabilities of any kind, they have the right, they have the constitutional duty to serve on a jury. And therefore, they should have the access and the accessibility to come to the jury assembly space and not have to worry about uh, not only safety, but also distances between available parking and this new jury space. Let me mention one other thing about the convenience of jurors getting down here. Tom Lambert uh, mentioned about that all the Metro services are available to jurors at no charge. And of course, the, the Preston Street rail stop is just right outside the front door of this building. And that means that if a juror doesn't want to drive all the way down here, they can park anywhere on that uh, red line uh, from, from the far north side of Houston all the way down to Fannin South past uh, uh, the Astrodome and can, uh, uh, can ride the, uh, the red line of the rail at no charge and get off less than half a block from, uh, uh, from this point. Also, one other thing that we're working on that uh, uh, it's not available yet, but of course, uh, NRG Park belongs to Harris County, and we're making arrangements uh, that uh, in the near future there will also be reserved juror parking at NRG Park uh, right inside the, uh, the gate that's adjacent to that Fannin Street rail stop. And we're not ready to kick that off today, but that will be coming soon. So what we're trying to do is just make it as convenient as possible for people to serve on the jury. Any other questions? All right. Thank you. Thank you.